Okay. Now, as this is a first time video, I'm sure this will probably sound like crap, look like crap, and be edited like crap, but you know, you got to begin somewhere. So we got everything unboxed. Let's get all the voltage checks out, just to kind of curious to see how close they are to each other. 3.39, that one's a scooch low, but not by much. 3.34, so they are all spot on with each other except for this guy right here is at 3.39 versus 3.34 not a huge amount to lose a lot of sleep by but once we get the um, uh, battery charger running uh, which we have an eye charger x8 that we'll put on the individual cells uh, just do a little bit of um, load testing on them uh, we'll first hook them all up in parallel uh, initially, uh, at least for maybe a day, maybe, maybe as much as two days, just to kind of get them all at the same level. Uh, then once that's accomplished, then we'll work on getting these batteries put into series and make a series uh, power bank out of it. Uh, we'll be covering things like a, an eye charger that I've seen a lot of users use. We got an eye charger X8. We got some HP HP server power supplies that we'll be modifying to use as a power supply for the charger. And then we'll obviously, as we stated earlier, these are lithium batteries. Earlier, when I made the comment that LiPo 4 is generally considered one of the safer versions of lithium batteries, you still need to treat lithium batteries with a fair deal, fair deal of a respect meaning that when we stated earlier they have low internal resistance which means being getting power in and getting power out is much easier done uh, well along with that comes some of the cautions uh, behind them is that since they can release a lot of their energy uh, fairly quickly uh, treat all lithium batteries regardless of type with a with a fair amount of respect uh, if you're going to start dabbling in the lithium power banks uh, make sure you're taking appropriate precautions. Uh, battery management system, in my opinion, uh, is an absolute must uh, when dealing with any type of um, lithium battery. Batteries management system basically is there to help protect you uh, in the event that a uh, one of the cells, let's say you have a bank of 16, which you have here, and one of the cells goes... Uh, let's say over voltage or under voltage or one of the characteristics the battery management system is looking for if a cell goes out of whack it can sit there and disconnect this battery bank for you or send a message to in our example we'll be using a shunt trimp uh, on the system to disconnect the main battery bank from the inverter basically isolating it from the loads and or the charge controllers that will be attached basically it, again Battery management system is there to protect the battery as well as the equipment you have connected to the battery and ultimately you, yourself, your property, things of that nature. Uh, so if you're dealing with lithium, can't stress more than enough, get yourself a battery management system. Again, just my opinion. Uh, that's what these videos are. Um, they're just basically a group of opinions. Uh, and don't take anything that you see here as a how-to or that it must be done this way. Uh, it's just instructional only.
It is not a how-to guide, once again, uh, for entertainment slash instructional purposes, and, and that is it. I'll talk to you later.